Well, here we are at the Oswego Speedway in Oswego, New York. You come in and you notice right off the bat these big chunks of white stuff. And you think maybe that's marble or something for decoration, but it's not. Obviously, it's not. But there's pieces broken out. And so you, you start getting a sense that this is, this is a flexible material. This is breakable. And if you get a close-up, you find out that, in fact, it is. It's foam. Soft, cushy foam. Let's go find an expert and, and see what this is all about. Hi, I'm Dr. Altman. I'm here at the Oswego Speedway with uh, Steve Joyest. So, Steve, how much does your car weigh? It weighs 1,960 pounds. That's with you in it? That's with me in it. So, uh, what would it be in kilograms? It's about 771. 771. Uh, so that's uh, 771 kilograms, and you're driving that thing, and let's suppose, this we don't want this to happen, but let's suppose you're coming down, this, and you're coming into turn three, and you're at full speed. About how fast would that be? About 155 miles per hour. All right, well, 70 meters per second, and uh, you really don't want to hit this wall. No, I, it's, it's not something I intend on doing. But if you were going to hit it, you'd rather hit this, all of this padded material, as opposed to steel wall. Yeah, you don't want to hit steel so much. Steve, when you, uh, when you hit this wall, uh, what does it do for you? It increases my impact time, which gives me more time to slow the car down. Okay, so it's like hitting the brakes only really fast. Yes. As opposed to hitting the wall really fast. All right, well, that's great. Um, have you ever hit this thing? Never hit this thing. Good for you. Good. Yes. That's great. Thanks a lot. So here we are. Let's look at the variables. First of all, you've got momentum. The car's got mass, and it's traveling in a velocity or m times v. Now to get it moving, it needs an impulse. It needs a force applied for a period of time. Force times time. In order to stop it, you need the same thing. Force times time. In case of stopping, it would be brakes. So an impulse causes a change in the momentum. Ft equals m delta v. Lots of fun in a race course. A lot of people love this stuff. So now let's try stopping some things. How much force is needed? Well, m delta v divided by t. More time to stop it, less force is needed. So if you hit your brakes, and they got big brakes, you slow your car down and you stop it. But in some cases, in the case of a racetrack, uh, you don't have time to hit your brakes. You hit something else. Now your head is protected from the side. There's lots of protection to keep you as part of your car. A new Hans device actually is attached to your head to, to hold it to your seat so the whole thing is connected. So now we got to stop the car. And we stop it with these big chunks of foam at the Oswego Speedway. And you hit the foam and, and it, it might damage your car, but it gives you enough time so that if you're connected to your car, you're strapped into your car, the car will stop, but you will be safe. And since they put the foam in, there have been no fatalities at this racetrack. And as this particular driver seems to be rather thankful for. Car banged up, he's just fine. It's all about giving you more time to stop. The more time to stop, the less force you have to deal with. Momentum and impulse. The side rails have uh, tires, again, to give you more time. Sometimes called cushioning. But all cushioning is is more time. So there we are. The Oswego Speedway. I really want to thank Steve Joya for helping me. And the Speedway was just wonderful. They let me do all sorts of fun stuff.